Uh, there are the, the community of the master program. Oh, okay. Uh, the uh, the like you and also uh, the abstract from the syllabus. syllabi. Okay. Oh, very good. And there is some books, uh, 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 European identity. Oh, very good. Very good, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is very interesting. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Being in your lecture on oh. from your open Professor Vas Laszlo Vas from Hungary, and I said, it's the time from your open science department, so he will be also. Still in uh, meeting for him. Oh, good. Shall we go? Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. College of Communication and Business can find a good a partner in Vietnam. I think so, and I, I, I was listening to the discussions today the two rectors had before signing the cooperation agreement, and very good ideas emerged here. Uh, for example, uh, the rector of the Vietnamese University, Professor Kain, proposed that it should be the Budapest College of Communication and Business, which should be the first to establish Institute of Southeast Asian Studies in Hungary. And it seems our rector is ready to do that. Thank you very much, Professor Min, for inviting me. And I'm very happy to be here in the program, both you. And I hope uh, you will look very forward during that two days. Uh, it's quite a long time to speak about the European Union, two days, so two mornings and two afternoon sessions. I know that you have uh, uh, some election in the Yulava City. What do you think about the Yulava City system in Vietnam? It is developing very well and there are uh, already some very good universities having uh, lots of uh, uh, connections and cooperations in the world. So it's a very good news, mm -hmm. very good news. Uh, what about the you know, Vietnamese attitude on the election? Is uh, uh, they intelligent or they lazy or they curious or something like that? Uh, I met hundreds of students mm -hmm. and uh, they were not lazy at all, mm -hmm. so they were very, very uh, uh, interested, very motivated uh, and finally very active. But I was very surprised because everybody says that uh, Vietnamese students are very shy and they uh, don't want to speak. But they, they, they were speaking and they asked good questions and they were very interested in the European Union. And I gave the lecture about that and I was very happy to, to meet such good students. I have a question about the, the real position of new member of the European Union. I mean that the 10 new members of the EU, do they have real political power? I mean, uh, if yes, it makes the decision is more difficult to make decision, right? So does this make the political institution become slow, much slower and more 
is not effective. Uh, yet it does not bring a politi uh, political power. So, uh, you, because you, you, you want to say something about behind the state, Germany, France, or British, press, uh, press a uh, small member so much. So do you think that uh, the new member of European just sacrifice the political power to gain something like economic profit or something like that? That is a very short answer. They have power, but they, ours is a bit limited. So uh, what I mean about the Uh, let's raise an example. Lisbon Treaty, which uh, introduced the new uh, decision-making rules. Most of them are filmers. Yeah. This is a problem. The filmers still don't uh, like talking a lot, oh, uh, uh, chatting uh, yeah. during, during the lecture. Uh, I always, we have always uh, to, to solve problems mm -hmm. and how to keep them. And the big group is also expected. Yeah, yeah. I prefer smaller, between 20 or seminar than lectures. Like sure, so yes. uh, I like those seminars. Mm -hmm. And they, yeah, but, but they are very nice. But, uh, what can Hungary offer? Why is it an advantage to study in Hungary? Yeah, the first point is uh, that uh, we offer <coughs> uh, courses and programs in English. So English language is the. <coughs> The, the modern Esperanto or Franco lingua for the current world. It's, it's a basic for every uh, profession. So it's important that we need students who can speak English. This is the first general approach. The second is that Hungary is between East and West in some ways. Uh, uh, I have already mentioned the culture, the, the closeness to each other. It's, it's very important. And also we can much better understand uh, the Vietnamese people and we can offer experiences from the Hungarian transition, which is very, very important. Uh, transition in economy, transition in, uh, in the uh, social political system and so on. Those experiences might be uh, useful, interesting to the uh, students. And we can offer very strong uh, fundaments in uh, international communication. Uh, this is a, a profession of all college, but it's also very important to Vietnamese students that if they want to learn Europe, Europe, Europe is not uh, one country, not one culture. There are many different uh, uh, business cultures, communication cultures in business, uh, negotiation culture, which is very important. Last but not least, maybe, maybe first, it is very important that Hungary is uh, much less expensive than some uh, leading uh, West European countries. Yeah, the financial point of view is really important. Sure, and the students uh, uh, have to pay much less in Hungary than in other Western European countries for the same diploma. No. Yeah, I think so. so. Középen nem elképzelhetetlen. De viszont akkor meg, aha, meg ott van kellett a stimme, akkor talán. National University invited me to, uh, uh, to offer a course, a complete course in European Union political system. And uh, I spent two days, to, uh, more than eight hours per day with the students, a nice group of students. It was, uh, uh, 45 students finally who uh, completed the test, the final test, and there was uh, 100 students who participated in some parts of my lectures, and and uh, so I enjoyed them very much, and I recognize that there are significant proportion of the students who are really well trained, uh, very motivated, they participate in the class very much, and uh, it was a good experience. Also, similarly positive experience with the colleagues. Uh, at the National University, at the Hanoi University, also Academy of Diplomacy, Cultural University, we visited. There I could meet internationally active uh, colleagues who are ready to, to participate in the cooperation and, and uh, I'm sure that we would be able to find some, uh, some colleagues, some teachers here who are already on international level.
uh, also as a private uh, representative of a private college I was looking for partners among the private colleges and uh, we meet uh, 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 the president of a private uh, college in Hanoi and also uh, we visited Haiphong uh, here is a, a private university also by name is a private university having lots of students uh, very big success it's a 14 years old university now and uh, they are already internationalized some ways and uh, we have uh, uh, many common interests in the field of economics business uh, tourism and uh, also in business communication you also met the new Vietnamese ambassador who goes to Hungary soon. What is the benefit of this meeting? It was a privilege to meet the uh, next ambassador, who is also uh, coming from the academia, and he uh, underst understood my language very well from, from the beginning. And uh, I think it is very important uh, to have uh, strong support from the governments. And uh, the Hungarian ambassador to Vietnam help, uh, is helping us, and also uh, the future ambassador of Vietnam to Budapest. Uh, uh, is ready to uh, to support uh, this uh, cooperation. He knows very well what the, the Vietnamese families uh, need, and uh, and uh, he promised uh, quite successful, efficient help to build uh, these relations. And also, he had even he had some good idea what we should do and we can do here. It's a very promiseful cooperation with the ambassador and. <coughs> I told him that if he will be already in office and, and position, we would be very happy, very pleased to, to have him in my college and to introduce the Hungarian higher education to him. A Magyarország az egyik magánfő, legnagyobb magániskolakok közt igazgatója, aki járt a Vietnámban. Következő héten tart előadás a különböző vietnámi egyremeket. Mennyi a belepődi? <gül> Ma összejövünk, ünnepeljük a magyar nemzeti ünnepet, nem hallgatunk, beszélgetünk a minden Magyarország mostani minden napi életéről. Aha. És de engedjetek meg, hogy először ki, ám, ha kínáljon titeket magyar italat, egy nagyon kis vacsorával is, so, uh, let's start a, a very, very strong emotional impression. That day when we met with the former, uh, Hung former Vietnamese students in Hungary, uh, uh, just we were b before a day, some days before the Hungarian national holiday, a uh, very important holiday, and. Uh, uh, my Vietnamese friends told a, a story that uh, uh, a father of one of them went to the French war in 48 and uh, in his backpack he had a book of uh, poems of uh, most famous Hungarian poet Petr who wrote revolutionary poems that time and, and uh, it was uh, very very uh, very strong and, and good impression to me that uh, I'm here in Vietnam and I'm, I meet a person who has a father who went to, to the independence war uh, with a Hungarian poem in his uh, backpack. There were some dozens of people who graduated in Hungary and uh, they, most of them uh, have very very uh, high prestige positions here in Vietnam. It shows that they learned a lot uh, in Hungary and they could use their uh, uh, experiences very well in Vietnam. And that uh, Hungarian uh, uh, Vietnamese uh, friendship society is also very strong and, and a good, good fundament for uh, our uh, co cooperation.